Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, sorry I've not had many videos coming up. Uh, I've had a lot of things going on recently, and this is one of them. Got a new uh, building put up. And life has just been busy. But it is almost time for pulling season, so uh, we have been getting financial mistake ready. The other tractor will not be ready due to circumstances that I'll explain here in a few minutes. As you see here, if you look in last year's videos, Financial Mistake had a blue block. It had a blue block up until two hours before testing tune this Saturday. Came out here to the barn and fired it up and uh, made sure everything was alright before it went and made a pass in Hamlet. And uh, we had some severe mishap. So, motor got pulled before test and tune. This motor was not here. Went and Watch test and tune helped out a little bit. Yesterday morning, me and a good friend and his son went down and picked up this motor. And this motor already was going to buy over two weeks ago, just didn't get down to it. And this was supposed to go in the new chassis. And it was going to be Brantley's 10 horse. And financial mistake was going to go back to being mine for this year. But I'll walk over here and show you what happened. Yeah. Don't look at my table. But anyways. Yeah. Parts went flying. But luckily... No holes in the block, just shrapnel on the sides. Crank, I think, will be salvageable. But if you look up in there, there's still part of it connected to the piston. So, yeah, we blew a connecting rod. In multiple pieces. There's part of the oil pickup, and where was it at? I don't know where the piece went now, but there was a piece that still had some of the oil pickup on it. Now, just in theory, what I think happened here, oil is clean. I run pin grade in my motors. And as you can tell, something happened there. I think sometime last year, during the season, the oil pickup broke off. And wasn't getting enough up on here. And just my luck, it decided to go all at once. So I think oil pickup cracked, broke off, not slinging enough oil up to here. Heat over time, got to this, baked some aluminum to the crank. It seized up when it got some heat in it this weekend and decided to snap. But this will be going down to Arthur Whaley getting redone. It might not be going back in financial mistake. This motor might stay in financial mistake. That motor will be fresh. It might go in the new tractor. Hard to say, but just right before I got on and made a video, got it dropped in, hooked back up. 
now just got to hook electrical up and everything else and fuel line and whatnot and crank her over and see what we got now as you see there is a couple different things on this motor compared to financial mistakes motor right there's where your point should be on a Kohler K series this has what they call go to the other side you'll probably see it better a crank trigger assembly for the ignition system some clubs do not allow it the two clubs I pull with they allow it it still has a starter regular starter just like financial mistakes motor but I do have a pulley aluminum pulley that if battery goes dead not completely but enough to where it will not crank on this starter I can grab a starter cart and still start my tractor and make a pass now another thing you'll see Kohler K241 10 horse dipsticks are usually here this one has been filled in which makes it nice because you don't have to open the hood now to check your oil they used the Kohler 12 14 horse style and put on it they're interchangeable as you see here this has just got a normal plate all you do is switch out the plate still not regular Kohler points but been switched over to Chevy point system that is the main differences in these motors other than the filter bracket for the off the carburetor so yeah this is what's been going on here we do have a hook this weekend down in Geneva, down over in Geneva, Indiana at Amishville Campground. We pulled there last year for the first time ever, and I believe Brantley got second or third, and I got third with the 10. I did have the twin there last year at, when it was governed at 5,000 RPMs. And I got dead last. But we're going to go down there again this year and shake down the new motor and see what she has. Stay tuned for more videos from Miller Pooling Team. Have a good evening, everyone.